What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about partial ranges of motion. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Partial ranges of motion, useful, not useful. This has been a debate for a long period of time. You had some bodybuilders back in the day who you would see doing short ranges of motion and had impressive physiques. And some people said, well, is that better? Is it worse? You have some people saying you should go through the entire range of motion. What does the research say? Well, we do have quite a few research studies, especially on lower body movements like squats or leg press, showing that full range of motion is superior to partial range of motion for hypertrophy and for strength if you're going through a full range of motion. Meaning, if you're gonna do a deep squat, if you practice doing deep squats, you're better at deep squats than somebody that only does partial squats. I know, shocker. Joel Seidman might find that quite shocking, but I personally don't. Does that mean that partials are always worse than full range of motion? Well, we do have some new research literature that seems to suggest that in certain cases, partials may be as good as full range of motion. If we look at the research literature, a lot of it's on lower body movements. And what we see is if you do partials in the stretched position of the muscle, you get just as much hypertrophy as somebody who trains for a full range of motion, as long as you get to the same proximity to failure on each set. So it appears that the stretch is actually part of the hypertrophic response. And as long as you put a muscle under stress, mechanical tension in the stretch position, you may still get the same benefits as doing long ranges of motion. Now, the thing I would say to this is, guess what? Most people do partials because they're more comfortable than doing full range of motion. You know what's not comfortable? Doing partials in a stretch position because that means you're doing, for example, in a squat, you're doing partials at the bottom of the squat. That is going to be very uncomfortable compared to doing partials in the top range of a squat, which is much easier. You can use more weight, but guess what? It doesn't really do much for hypertrophy or it doesn't do as much as a full range of motion or partials in the lengthened position. I will say this research is relatively new and there needs to be a lot more work done on it because I want to see what happens with things like back or shoulders where the stretched position is actually the easier portion of the movement. What I mean by that is in a squat or a leg press or a hack squat, the stretched position on the quadricep is actually mechanically one of the least advantageous positions there is. Whereas in a shoulder raise or a back row or pull down, the stretch position is actually where you're strongest. The same thing actually goes for like a leg extension. So it'll be interesting to see if that data still holds true, looking at movements where the stretch position is actually easier. Whereas like for example, partials on like a delt raise going to here, those you'd be able to use a lot more weight and it's not as difficult as a partial being here in this range, even though this is not the stretch position for the deltoid. So again, I'm not sure what they would find. There may already be some research literature on it that I'm not aware of, feel free to comment. But I do wanna see more of those studies done because part of me is wondering, is this a stretch position thing or just a degree of difficulty thing and getting you closer to failure proximity wise sooner? I'm sure we'll find out over the years, but what I would say is at least for these lower body movements that we discussed, a partial range of motion where you're placing the muscle in a stretched position appears to be as good as full range of motion for growing muscle, but it's not gonna be more comfortable. It's probably gonna be more uncomfortable. And so I'm not sure how much utility there actually is there. All right, guys, if you like the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for excellent evidence-based programming, make sure you check out the BioLane Workout Builder. We have a bunch of customizable training templates online. We take the guesswork out of sets, reps, and intensity, but we give you the flexibility to choose the exercises that you prefer and have access to. And yes, we do have at-home programs as well. So that's only $12.99 a month, great deal. Thousands of people are already members. Make sure you click the link in my description and sign up today. All right, guys, catch you next week.